What up, y'all? It's your boy, Jungle 972 here, and I'm also being joined by Misunderstood. Do it! And today on Jungle 972 Plays, we're going to be unboxing the Super Retron HD. What's the Super Retron HD? Well, let's take a look, shall we? This is what I'm talking about, the Super Retron HD. Here, let me get a close-up on it real quick. There you go. The Super Retron HD. Now, what this is, is basically the hardware-based... Uh, Hyperkin Super, basically, you know, it's like the Retron 5. The only difference is, this is more hardware based rather than emulation based, like the previous ones. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, doing a open box. We're going to be opening it up, actually, just doing a box review. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, here, can you take this real quick? Uh -huh. There. You don't need a box card, so you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, just let's see what we got. I'm going to use my car key. I love uh, Hyperkin's boxes too, though. They're yeah. Just, they're just so creative. Just make sure you have here. And Ash uh, being a little curious. Oh, no, okay. Alright, I gotta turn around. Ooh. Nothing, I gotta tell you right now, nothing really beats the feeling of just getting a brand new console. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It doesn't really beat the feeling of a brand new console whenever you open it up, though. So, as you can see, this is the. Uh, you know what's funny? Um, not long after the Super Nintendo Classic came out, mm -hmm. a little while after that, this was being played. Oh yeah, no doubt about it. It's really cool. And Hyperkin's on their shit right now, so let's uh, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and take it out real quick. Here, you do the honors. Get it all out real quick. Let's see. Uh... Oh yeah, it's about as big as the uh, Super Famicom, but about. Maybe about a fourth less big in certain ways, but yeah. And let's take a look at the controllers too. Now I gotta tell you right now, these controllers, just you know from the field for right now, it's definitely an improvement. You know, it's definitely an improvement just you know based on you know the original Super Nintendo and the Super Famicom, because like just here, give you a better idea. You know, can I turn it around. Wow, it's smooth. It's real smooth. You can definitely tell, you know, just by the way they kind of, you know, smoothed it out in the back, though. They definitely, you know, had the uh, idea for the newer gamer in mind. Mm -hmm. You know, just right off the bat, though, they had the idea for the newer game in mind, too. Newer gamer, sorry. Now, let's see what kind of components we got. Of course, you've got your instruction manual. Of course, I'm a guy. I don't need to read the instructions. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it, also, it always helps to have. Of course, you know, the... Uh, that just come in a little box too. It comes with an HDMI cable. I, I don't know how many more HDMI cables we've got in the past six months, just based on you know, the Super Nintendo Classic, Super Famicom Classic, and the uh, Famicom Classic too. Mm -hmm. So it comes in basically, you know, just with a very similar. And our PS3, and our PS4. Yeah. Sure. It even comes with an API cable. That's pretty cool. Even our cable TV. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. And. Power generator, you know, the power cord, because the uh, like the Retron HD has it as well. Mm -hmm. And I've also been noticing that all the uh, power uh, the power supplies have been switching to USB and micro USB mm -hmm. um, cords too, along with the uh, plugins. The classics, uh, they have those too. Yeah, the classics. So it's a uh, yeah, basically, you know, the NES Famicom, Super Famicom, and the uh, Super uh, SNES classics have these too. So you know, you're really uh, seeing a really a different trend based on today's you know technology to go with it too. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop in uh, an American console and a Japanese, uh, blah, an American cart and a Japanese cart to give this a test too. I hear there's supposed to be you know, some, you know, real uh, some differences, no doubt about it. So we're gonna take a look at it. Oh, and uh, before we turn it on, I definitely gotta show you this. This cord is about nine feet long. So yeah, give you a good idea what you're looking at here. From here, here's my bed. Here's what we're looking at. Kind of bring it in a little bit closer, give you a better idea. Definitely. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, we chose ActRaiser on the Super Famicom. Mm -hmm. Just to give it a uh, first try. Yeah, I, I found this on uh, I found this at Retropalooza last year. Oh yeah. I gotta be honest with you, I've never been more grateful. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, we're just gonna put this one con uh, some one katakana right there. Yeah, I believe it is. 
I'm still, you know, learning the, uh, uh, the Japanese a alphabet, too. I want to learn the Japanese alphabet, too, yeah. Yeah, and I gotta tell you right now, though, just, hold on, I'm gonna pass the controller to you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, just, there's no lag to this. There's definitely no lag. Oh my god. Yeah. You're right! Yeah, and actually, you know, they... The Hyperkin is on their shit right now. So we're gonna go to, uh, let's Film. see, Fillmore. So yeah, we're just gonna give it a quick run, real quick. I've already played through this, you know, on a, in a live stream. But yeah, we're gonna give it a quick run, real quick. No, <laughs> that's cool. But yeah, this is a definitely you know, pretty interesting though because. May luck be with you, sir. Got it also. Not only that though, it's um, one thing that I like about this though is the fact the control, the controller itself, it has a, I don't know how to say it though. It's just. It feels comfortable. Yeah. You know, it's just uh, one of the most comfortable controls I've ever... Probably the most con uh, comfortable control I've ever had my hands on as far as, you know, retro goes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if the... Uh, what you see right here... Now, I've got this uh, my TV on game mode right now. Mm -hmm. And I've uh, got a uh, 2160 uh, quality. Right. A big... Yeah. Crazy tree motherfucker. This Trent right here. Have to forgive me, I'm a little rusty on this game too. Alrighty. And I'm almost dead too, so need to stay alive. But yeah, um just you know by playing this though, you know. It's not a perfect 60 FPS though, based on you know what you what you would expect. But I can tell you this right now. This plays so smoothly and fluidly. Yes, it does. Especially on a on a just just for you know, like an old school. Just for the old school Super Famicom itself. You got, Slash Super NES. You got some of your health out. Yeah. Oh. I, I completely forgot, you know, just how much tougher, you know, Japanese games can be. Yeah. Look at your health bar. There oh, we go. Oh, nice. Just a quick run with this, though, but yeah. Plus, Actorage is one of my uh, all-time favorites. <laughs> Who knows, you know, this may be another playthrough I might do. I might even live stream this next time, because I've got the, uh, the American version done. Mm -hmm. But I had a, like when I first started this a couple years ago, I didn't have the best of uh, equipment at the time. I remember. I had a really shitty laptop, you know, that really couldn't do anything. <laughs> I, um, uh, I remember this day I was actually coming back from the doctor. Yeah, I remember. But yeah, there's your uh, ending right there. Yep. Just uh, from uh, the Super Famicom portion, mm -hmm. it passes. Yep. 10 out of 10. Mm hmm. Okay. The game that we're playing right now is Phalanx. Yeah. This is the American version. Uh-huh. A very, very, very difficult shooter. It's been uh, ported from the uh, Commodore to the uh, WiiWare up to this point. Yeah. It's been, it's been, yeah, it's been ported from the Commodore to the Super Nintendo to the Game Boy Advance. Yes. To WiiWare. Yeah, it's the Wii Wear. We never got it here in the United States, so. Yeah. So we're going to give it a little quick run through real quick. Yeah. Now, one thing that Phalanx is most notoriously famous for is the cover. <laughs> yeah, the cover is a picture of an old man in a banjo. Well, a spaceship flies in the distance. It's a little weird, yeah. But it's awesome. I love it. If, I, if, there, if it came in a t-shirt, I would definitely buy it. <laughs> okay. Right. Now, judging on this though, you know, I can tell this. Uh, I definitely think that this goes at a, a lower frame rate as opposed to uh, you know playing it on a regular TV. But you know, for the TV that we have right now, like especially with the flat screen, like a twenty-one sixty, uh, as far as quality goes, I got to tell you right now, even with this, very fluid. Yeah, I know. yeah, I'm actually getting thrown off by it. Yeah, I was kind of thrown off a little bit too whenever I played it. Not only that though, but it automatically widescreens too. Yeah. It, yeah, it goes right into a, like a widescreen. Oh yeah, I, we, well, I also forgot to mention that a Tiny Phalanx was a hidden uh, game in this game called Zero Divide. Yeah. And uh, that's also pretty interesting. So technically, it's ah oh, damn, I got hit. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm doing the playthrough of this. Uh, yeah. Right now, this tester. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and share uh, my very intimate thoughts on this 
fucking game. There we go. Um, this oh, yeah. game, I've spent the most. As far as trying to beat this game, this is the game that I've spent the most time on trying to beat this game. I've only beaten it once. <laughs> Can never beat it again. That's a shoot, man. That's true. This is how difficult this game is, and it's for a shooter. It, it's harder than our type, and that's saying a lot. Yeah, it's pretty interesting though, because Arte, you know, right when you die, you have to start over. Yeah. That's why you just keep on grinding forward. But boy, do they make you pay. Yeah, you gotta earn it with this one though. Lately, all I. Lately, the only. The farthest I've gone lately, stage 7. Hyperspace. Yeah. And it's like one level away from the uh, final level. Yeah, and it's, uh. Oh, here we go, power up! Now, I can tell you this right now, though. When it comes to uh, Phalanx, though, I think the easiest port, honestly, is on the Game Boy Advance. It is. But as far as uh, the... And the, I, I couldn't even beat that version, either. Well, it's, it's, it's so much more simple, and it's much easier. Not to mention the fact that, you know, you've got four health bars, too. And when you die, like the uh, plus shoots that you get, though, like when you uh, get a power-up, you get uh, extra power, firepower, basically. Your, power, your firepower only uh, downgrades one. Mm-hmm. Here, whenever you uh, get killed completely, you, you downgrade all the way to the bottom. Yeah. To like power, like just firepower number one, basically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, with the Phalanx, it's definitely one of the more uh, challenging shooters that I just I challenge anybody to give it a try to because it's easy to some people and it's difficult to some people. Yeah, I yeah. envy I envy the people that can go through this no problem. Not to mention anybody who can uh, finish this on the funny difficulty. Yeah, fuck you to all the people that can do it on the funny difficulty. Because <laughs> I couldn't make it past the first level. And I'm one shot away from dying. Yeah. But yeah, just, you know, for a shoot, though, I can tell you right now, this game, you know, on the uh, Super Retro and HD, mm -hmm. it's, I'm not gonna lie, though, you know, the one thing I noticed, you know, just from, you know, the first game, from ActRaiser to now, it's the uh, co uh, color palette. It's definitely a lot more colorful. Oh, yeah. You know, than the original systems. You know, I can just tell right now, there's a big difference, you know, within the background. You can see the uh, layering on it, though, obviously. Mm -hmm. But one thing I liked about the layering on this, though, is the fact that it, it differentiates it to, to one, too. Hang on. Oh, shit. Oh, oh God! Shit. You see what I mean? <laughs> yeah, definitely This game close. was a mind fuck. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> but yeah, for a shoot, though, I can tell you right now, as far as yeah, the Super Retro on HD goes, Yeah, this is... It's... Definitely worth the uh, seventy dollar price tag. Yeah, this was seventy dollars, and we found it at one of the uh, local stores that we normally go to, and we, we didn't even we didn't even think to look at it, and then uh, until like a second later. It's been out for about two months now, if I if I'm correct. Right? I, I think so. I'm not sure. Maybe something like that. We'd have to check. Oh shit! Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like, no, how the homie get... I like how the homie missile just sits there and circles them around. Yeah, I love the homing blasters, they're great. But yeah, I can tell you, just you know, from you know the uh, the perspective of this though, it's it's simple, it's small, the controller feels fantastic. Yes, it's so smooth. It feels like, a, for some reason, you know, I don't want to, you know, go into the Call of Duty uh, ter uh, terminology of this though, but it feels like an MLG controller. Yes, it does. But it definitely is made for the uh, gamer of today. You know, the gamer today, you know, who hasn't, you know, tried anything retro at this point, though. Because, like, when I was born, you know, my first uh, system was an NES. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I had to hold my breath for a second. <laughs> no, no, no. Launch it, launch it. No, explode. No, no, no. I can't, I can't. Okay. I'm going to tell you a little secret. Oh, Before yeah. Before you go to the other arm... Aim for the core. Oh yeah, aim for the core, yeah. And he's dead. <laughs> and that's for the American. Alright, now, since we've completed the uh, Japanese and American uh, Super, uh, Super Famicom, Super Nintendo tests, mm -hmm. there is one other thing that we do need to try. And what is that? Reproduction cartridge. And what are we talking about? The Star Fox 2 beta reproduction cartridge? Mm-hmm. Let's pop it in. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. The Star Fox 2 beta. 
Yes. Now, this reproduction cartridge we've had for about two years. Yes. This is the other uh, one that we ended up actually finding. We didn't misplace it, though. It was just... It was dead right in front of us, though, and I just completely missed it. And, uh... Well... You've already seen this complete, the actual completed version, if you want to call this. But, yeah. This really goes to show that the reproduction cartridge works. Yes. And to show that it's a reproduction cartridge... Here, take a look at this. Notice the uh, sky in the back. Blue and red. Mm-hmm. There's a big difference. Not to mention the planet in the back. And the logo. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> and we've only got mission and record. And all the difficulties are, are unlocked. Playable. Yes, that's very true. Yes. So um, let's give it a small run real quick. Alrighty. Small run? Just a couple of, uh... You know what? Fuck it, let's just do it on expert. Yeah, let's see. And we're gonna prove that this is also the beta 2. Because the charge shots... Oh, yeah, not to mention the uh, text. Yes. Is very different too. Yes. <laughs> well, a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. One thing you're gonna notice for sure... Not to mention the missiles are already moving. <laughs> yes, the missiles are very, very, very quickly. Okay. And I believe there's only one control scheme here, right? Um, I believe so. I want to say no, actually. Yeah, I think there's only one scheme. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, now that I think about it. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Uh huh. We're gonna give this, th with this test, I'm gonna use my pessimistic buddy in the world. Falco. Falco, and all, it's, it never hurts to have a veteran, uh, or a float, which is... Always good. As I always eat, good. As I get my jelly beans. And my butter popcorn. You know what? One, one, you know what, after this, uh, I, I need to, we need to start over. Because there's something else I need to introduce. Oh, what's that? Well, in the official version, all all pilots have single blasters. Mm -hmm. Well, the newbies have wing blasters. Double wing blasters, yeah. Oh, is that true? Yes. I didn't know that. Yes. Okay, let's see. What are we working with? Okay. Let's show them that charge shot. That yeah. homing charge shot that you start off with. Yeah, you have to unlock. And I notice, uh... There we go. And you also play from third person view. That is true. Yeah. I've noticed that. I mean, you can play on third person view on the uh, finished version, right? I... When on planets, yes. I'm not sure about space. Oh boy. Um, um, yeah, what do we got here? Yeah, the control. Yeah, I'm not used to this control. There it goes. See, locked on. See, locked on. Yeah, when, easy as pie. Well, the official version, you actually have to unlock it. Yeah, you gotta hit the peppercorns with it. Yeah. And you have to collect all of them. Mm -hmm. It's a, a more of like a high, uh, like a high score race, really. I just, you know, the more to finishing it. Buddy, who are you? He did. Hey, I'll turn around this Expert way. Expert is a little bit... It's, it's a tad bit harder on the beta version. Just a little bit. But it's not too bad. Yeah. Not to mention those noble bombs. The blast ratio is much bigger. Yes. Hella bigger. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Well, I might as well let that one... Let that one slide. I like the way it spins, too. Yeah, why would... I don't think missiles actually do that. Yeah, I don't think so, either. It's my understanding that they just dive in. Here, here test that out real quick. Show them that charge shot one more time. Okay, here we go. Uh. Oh yeah, the, in, in the beta version, did I forget to mention that 
it kind of is hard to lock on when there's multiple enemies. Yes. That's very true. Not to mention, you know, power-ups are a little bit more, uh... More... Yeah. Common, yes. Yeah, they're a lot more uh, common now. Alright, here we go. Okay, so let me demonstrate this charge shot. You almost dead. Okay. This is. No, it's getting a little ridiculous, huh? Yeah, this is getting a little ridiculous. Um. The health is a lot more uh, rampant too. Yeah. Even on a uh, expert mode, it is. Yes, this is on expert mode. Yeah, there's a big difference now on the official the the official version. It was um the firepower was was toned down. Enemy firepower on the official version. Just a little bit, yeah. Just a little bit. There's a peppercorn right oh, there. Oh, thank God. And peppercorns were way more common in mm -hmm. the beta version, but the fire, the enemy firepower was a lot stronger in the beta version. That so is true. So somewhat of a balance of the two. Uh, sorry, the controls are a little bit different on the beta version. Yeah, I don't remember very much on the controls on it, though. Oh, I do. With a passion. Yeah, um, you played a little bit more than I have, though. Yeah, and it's really... And I don't even think on... Look out, look out. Ow. Here, I think you can lock onto somebody down here. Let me see if I can. Ooh! Special. These Nova Bombs are my babies. Don't get me wrong, the Regenerator is amazing, but... Can't beat a classic. Oh yeah, and uh, that guy was, uh... Very, very weak. Yeah. The sub-bosses are a little bit weaker in the beta version, and... There's somebody else I missed. Who was it? Where's he at? Where's he at? But in, yeah, in the beta version, when it came down to locking enemies, which you could lock on the enemies, but when it came to multiple enemies, uh, when it came to multiple enemies, it was so difficult to lock, to lock on just one guy. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, I, I better get that. Right here. Let's end this part of the demo right here just by killing this boss. Yeah. Actually, uh, let's not end it yet because there's something else I need to show you. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, the, the walker was a lot faster in this one. Yeah, I noticed that. That was a little weird. It is very weird. There is something else that I did notice about this. The frame rate on this is higher. Yes. If anybody out there can... If you see what I see, the frame rate you know, just seems a little bit higher. Um, and another thing I'm going to point out is, you know, because of the higher frame rate, it kind of made it, kind of made it difficult for me to be extra mode on the beta version. Interesting. Because the enemies were faster, the... They were they were stronger, although the sub bosses were just a tad bit weaker. And if you notice in the damage in corn area after mm -hmm. that missile, it's only nine damage. Yeah, it's only nine damage. Yeah. It's weird. And uh, let me uh. And uh. You said there was something else you wanted to show me, right? Yes. The game would have to be reset, though. Okay, hang on. So, I want to point out something. Um, Yes, there's a mass. There's a big difference in the beta and the official. Um, what was that the second thing you wanted to show me? This right here. Yeah, uh, the the pilots in expert mode, the enemy pilots in expert mode, they, as you've noticed, they move a lot faster. So uh -huh. I'm, I got to show you something else, and we'll just do it on normal this time. And. Wow, Didn't Star even Wolf Team here. is already on standby. Interesting. Well, a Star Wolf member is. Okay. Do you notice something? Uh, Miu starts out with a wing blaster. Miu and Fei. Interesting. Yes. In the official version, they took this off. That's right, they did, didn't they? Yes. Interesting. Now let me... 
let me give you a fine. Let me uh, give you a uh, a demonstration of how me, you, and Faye are. Okay. Me, you, and Faye. They start off with shields, mm -hmm. and if you notice on the shield icon, that they've only got a cadet six shots. The col yeah, the coloring of, on the shield icon is different. The special weapon. Okay. Okay, so let us let's just go ahead and just go to a battleship. We're gonna. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This was this is actually unfair. <laughs> Let me. Switch over to first person view. Let's go to first person view because I actually can't. I actually can't play on third person view when it comes to Star Fox Two. You know, either unless, can I. unless unless I'm on a planet. Okay. And the controls are kind of wobbly, at, whereas in the official version it's a little. See right there, you can walk. Yeah, I've noticed that though. You know, you go upwards and it kind of just uh, hankers out. I'm trying, Falco. Shut the hell up. Okay, ready? Whoa, whoa, Completely whoa, locked whoa, on. Whoa. He's destroyed. Oh. But it says out of range. Okay. So he goes out How of range. How do you go right in front of me? Here, switch over to, to the Falco. How does he fight? Falco, he uses Nova Bombs. He can take up to eight damage, while Miyu can take up to six. Okay. Um, Miyu and Faye are the fastest, but they are probably the weakest. Falco and Fox, they are average. So they're balanced out. They're very balanced out. Where Peppy... And Slippy, you know, they, they're the most durable. They're the most durable, but they are the slowest. Right, right. So... Okay. But... One thing I will say, Miu and Faye, you know, the fact that they started out with Wing Blasters was... Damn. It definitely was a good way to start. Yeah. It was, and, and you know what? It was. Was that all you wanted to show me? Yes. Alrighty. You know, more interesting uh, detail about the Star Fox beta. Yeah. <laughs> Not to mention the uh, the fact that the uh, Super Retro and HD also plays reproduced cartridges, too. Absolutely. So, if you were a, 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 a betting man or a betting woman, mm -hmm. and you wanted to buy reproduced cartridges of your favorite ROM hacks that came from online, would you pay for them? Because I'll tell you this right now, if there was a uh, reproduced cartridges that I want to play, mm -hmm. would be the uh, Ancient Stone Tablets. I remember playing that mm -hmm. on my uh, ZSNES emulator, and I loved every second of it. It was so much more fun, and I really wish, you know, that in the 90s we would have gotten a Satellaview. Yes. Just, just little bits of that, though, because I'll tell you that right now. Even the, re like the little uh, remake of uh, the first Legend of Zelda was, looked really cool, too. Yeah. I mean, like, if you were to play anything else in, like, uh, I know there's a, um... Well, here's the thing. I did buy the reproduced cartridges of Star Fox 2, my first one I was supposed to get for Christmas. Uh-huh. And it didn't work. I mean, you have a chance to play it now. Yeah, well, this one, the one that we're playing right now, is... It was bought on Retropalooza. Yeah, it was. I did, I was able to purchase in Retropalooza. They even, the guy that... I bought it from, demonstrated... It was from Retro HQ, that's why. Yeah, from Retro HQ, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I bought my first cop hard copy of Star Fox 2 on... Um, not eBay, but... Oh, was it Etsy? Etsy, yeah. Yeah. Be very careful about reproduced cartridges on Etsy. On Etsy. Yeah, t yeah t so we just got hit. Compare the damage... That is take on the that is being taken in corner uh, by Corneria. Compare the damage that Corneria takes from the beta version. Compare it to mm -hmm. um, the official version. Yeah, it's definitely a big difference. Yeah, because that's six damages. I think after the first shot, it'd be like fifteen, right? I believe it was like ten to fifteen. I believe. Okay. I, I, I should know this though because. You know, I, I went through this like so many times, and you know, on the official version. So we're gonna go and end this part of the uh, demo right here, and uh, we're gonna go and give it a verdict. Like, if you had a verdict to give the uh, Super Retro on HD, like what, like what would you say is the uh, ultimate verdict though, from rated from one to ten? 
Um, straight ten. Yeah, I'd have to agree with it. Straight ten. I mean, I mean, though, it, they. It was. This is very considerable because, like I said, I mean, there's they. They thought about the present gamer, and it's. They thought about you know, yeah, you know, the uh, imports and what is it the. Uh, the PAL version, North American, of course. Even people who want to make re uh, reproductive cartridges too. Because mm -hmm. I'll tell you this right now, though, this, what's old is new again. Yes. And I can tell you this right now, this generation will definitely appreciate it. Yes, yes it is. I mean, straight 10 out of 10 because, like, the the, the frame rate has improved. Um, no latency? No latency. The controller is very comfortable and the, the cord is long enough to play if you wanna, if you wanna lay on your bed and play games at the same time, and um, not to mention, this game automatically white uh, white screens. Yes. It automatically white screens whenever you play too. The color sh the, the color palette's really nice. It's really colorful. It's very smooth, and just playing it, it's a little fluid. I will say though, the frame rate on this though may not be you know what you expect, but the small fuzziness is a very 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 small price to play. It's just a, a small price to pay. Other than that, I mean. That's all I can really say, though, you know, Super Retro on HD, definitely a winner in my book, worth the $70. Yes. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and end it right here while uh, Misunderstood kills the rest of these uh, freaks over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and uh, we're going to go and call it a night. Uh, thank y'all for watching, much love, and uh, peace.